Now to be fully transparent with you, I've been editing with Final Cut Pro for the last few years and I've enjoyed it, loved it, great. However, when I was introduced to this AI editing tool, I completely stopped mm -hmm. editing in Final Cut Pro and I have now totally moved to Premiere Pro because this tool saves me so much time with editing my YouTube videos and adding other elements in. And I just want to show you this. It is absolutely mind blowing. The tool is called Firecut. It is a plugin for Premiere Pro and what what this does is, for example, I just dragged in this video. I need to edit it's 17 minutes long. I've done nothing to it. All I have to do is go to window extensions, fire cut, and I'm instantly presented with all these tools and options that I can use. And the most incredible one out of these is the remove silences. I click this. I turn it up to tight cut because that's how I prefer it. I click go. And in a few seconds here, this tool is going to render and go through my clip. And it is literally going to cut out all the silent parts from my video. And take a look in the timeline, maybe do a zoom in on this. Look at this tool go. It is literally going through my video and cutting out all the silent parts, taking out like 30 minutes to an hour of work that I would have had to do going through and trimming out all those parts. And this is just doing this in a few seconds. Poof, uh, 115 silences cut out, which was 477 seconds of editing. Now we can X out of this, go back and we can zoom in and it's been cut. Everything has been trimmed. Now this tool does have a remove repetition option in here and you can use that. But if I'm being totally honest with you, I don't usually do the remove repetition because I already have to go through all my clips and take out those weird parts where I am talking in between the clips or just thinking and things like that. But there are some additional things in here other than just removing the silences that makes this super awesome. And also, if you are curious how it sounds after you do make those auto trims and cuts and how well of a job it does, take a listen to this. Have you ever worked super hard on a video, editing it to the best of your abilities, only to click upload and get little to no views? I've been there. It feels like YouTube didn't even give your video a chance, and it makes you question if YouTube is even worth it. Well, today I was actually messing around in the analytics. So as you can see there, it does a really great job of just making those cuts in between clips, and it, it, it makes just as good of a job as I would have done if I would have manually gone through this. But that's not all we can do. Uh, there's also the add captions button. So what I can do is first I'm gonna place an I. I'm just gonna click I on the keyboard as my in point. And then I'm gonna scroll to, well, let's just do the first 25 seconds here. And I'm gonna make that the out point. So I'm just gonna click O on the keyboard. And then what I can do is go to captions. And I want it to just be the scope of the in and out points where I want captions. You know, sometimes people put captions at the beginning of their long form videos. Click transcribe, give it a few seconds here. And there we go. And instantly in here, we have a whole bunch of presets that we can use. For example, Alex Hermosi, or you'll find Mr. Beast in here, or you'll find Firecut's own custom kind of thing. And when you choose one of these, you can easily grab the text and put it anywhere just like that. I can scroll down further and make other customizations to like the color and the shadow and the different things like that. I can also add animations, pop text with audio, highlight text with audio. I like it to highlight each of the words that go by. And once this is custom, Customized to your liking, you can just click add styled captions to sequence and poof, it is going to add those captions, those text into your video. And if you look up here, it's right now adding those captions in. If you're wondering why it's so high up in the layers, it's because I've been messing with this before I've started recording this tutorial. And now if we click play, this is what we got. Have you ever worked super hard on a video, editing it to the best of your abilities, only to click upload and get little to no views? Like that's awesome. That is incredible. And it just took a few seconds and it's just built right into Premiere Pro. So this can work great if you are wanting to add just some captions at the beginning of your video, or maybe there's somewhere later on in the video. You can easily just click an in and an out point real quick and just emphasize a point and have some captions pop up on screen. And it's just built into the editor, which just makes everything super easy. Now, another thing they have built in here that's really cool is find B-roll, which what it'll do is you can set the frequency of B-roll that you want to appear. So high every 10 seconds, it'll try to add some B-roll in, which I like, or you can make it do it at a longer rate. And then if I scroll down the scope, I want just to do it between the in and out points, click find B-roll. And it's actually going to use Pexels to find the B-roll, which is the free stock footage and photos site. So whatever's on there is going to try its best to match it up with what I'm saying. And as you can see, it's down 
downloading it right now into our project and then we can click X. So we can see here on the left side, it found three different spots, one for video editing. I said YouTube upload, and this is the stock footage it chose, and then video analytics. So for the video editing section here, we can actually click play. I've never worked super hard on a video, editing it to the best of your ability. So that's what it chose. If I do click on the video editing option here, I click on this, I can change it. So maybe I don't like this B-roll, I'd rather this. I can click on that. It'll actually download that B-roll from Pexels and poof, it's added in. Have you in. ever worked super hard on a video, editing it to the best of your abilities? And if I want to extend this, as so long as the video is long enough, I can actually extend it, which I can't, but I can shrink it down if I want as well. Or if I need to, I can always just click on this, you know, and do the double click or right click and I could go to speed duration and slow it down and that would extend it. That kind of worked. Like, I mean, you don't know what part I'm necessarily looking at, so maybe that works, but hey, it is trying to find those areas and giving me free B-roll. And even if one or two of these work, and let's say we just delete these two because we didn't like them, we at least had one B-roll added in that we didn't have to add and AI took over and added it, decreasing the amount of time we have to spend editing this video and also kind of increasing the engagement because it's giving us multiple clips that we can add over our video that's just gonna make it more interesting and do a pattern interrupt. Now, there are also some other tools in here. They do have this add zoom-ins, which personally, I wasn't the biggest fan of. It's kind of hard for AI, but you're totally welcome to try this out. When you click on this, you can choose like less frequent. You could choose how much of a zoom-in you want to apply. So maybe I could go to, let's say, very frequent, really. We'll do a pretty big zoom-in there. We got our in and out points. Let's click go. Let's see what it does here. All right, let's go play. Have you ever worked super hard on a video, editing it to the best of your abilities, only to click upload and get little to no views? I've been there. It feels like YouTube didn't even give your video a chance, and it makes you question if YouTube is even worth it. Well, today I was actually messing around in the analytics of one of those flop videos, and I discovered something that showed me exactly what was wrong with my video and how to fix it. And so if you kind of saw there, it did like a dramatic jump in and then zoomed out really quickly. Like, I don't know, it, it maybe it just needs more time to develop for them to really nail it down. But personally, I'm still going to go through and do the zoom ins. But I love the fact that they are trying to find more ways to simplify it for me. And I'm sure over time it could get to a spot where it is doing proper zoom ins as I would like to do them versus just a little bit too out of place. Now, one last thing I think is worth showing is this multi-track feature where if you get this set up uh, you can, and you're doing like an interview and you have one camera and another camera, you can actually have it auto switch between that. So you don't have to make those cuts. It'll automatically switch between people. I don't have a podcast here that I can edit and kind of show you this tool. On the Fire Cuts website, they do have an example of this that you can watch. So as you can see, they're just setting it up. Poof, it edits the podcast together. And then it's actually going to switch between the speakers back and forth as the podcast is going on. And I think overall, this is an incredible tool and you can actually try it out free for seven days if you click my link down below it is an affiliate link i do get paid a commission if you do get up the paid plan but you can try it out free for seven days so when you're ready to edit just add your video to premiere pro download the extension that'll give you plenty of time to mess around with it see if it's right for you see if hey if i want to actually save time here and have it cut these things for me have it do the captions the b-roll all that stuff but like I said at the beginning of this, I have left Final Cut Pro that I've been editing with for years just because this tool is with Premiere Pro and so I'm with Premiere Pro because it saves me that much time with editing. And I'm only going to recommend something that I personally use when I'm editing videos. So definitely check it out. Links down below. And if you want to see some other great creator tools that you can use, be sure to check out this video here. I cover a bunch of tools that YouTubers should check out. Definitely worth watching if you are looking for the best tools that you can use as a content creator.